Okay, that's us out. But we're not on a camp. We're just on a day hike. I'm in the Northern Fells, parked down at Fellside, heading up onto Great Br uh, Brayfell, then onto Great Scar, then probably around the Knot, and then I'll probably just do a circuit back down at the car. It's probably the best day of the week, would have been ideal, but unfortunately it's our wedding anniversary today. Or not unfortunately, just the timing. Um, so me and the missus are going out for our anniversary meal instead. I can camp another night. Some things are more important, eh? But yeah, it's a glorious morning. First obstacle back there was the bloody uh, stream with all the rain we've had. It was pretty difficult to get across. I had to go upstream a bit and I still got wet feet. But uh, we're pushing on up to Brayfell. It's quite a pull. But uh, steady away. Sun's just come up above the, uh, the hills on that east side. So all is quiet and all is good. I'll bring you back when we get further up towards Brayfell. Here we are, summit of Bray Fell, five, eight, six meters. Oh yeah, that's definitely warmed us up. Ah. Here we go, just a pile of rocks. Ah. But great views, you got Skidder. And you've got to see Bassenthwaite Lake down there. That one over there is Binzi. Fortunately, we've got a drop down. I think we do Little Scar and then Great Scar. <sighs> oh, yeah, I've definitely warmed up now from leaving the car. Jacket's off, so. What do you expect on a beautiful day? But yeah, what views, what views so far. So hopefully, we're gonna head up that way and then we're gonna follow it round, follow the summit all the way around onto that one. My car is back down the hill down there. But yeah, it's a bit hazy. It's a bit of mist in the valleys down there. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Reach the summit of Little Scarfell, 624 metres. It's got a little shelter. Oh, the little lake down there, it's over water. And obviously there's Bassenthwaite which runs right along underneath that fell there. But I think we've got to go around now up onto Great Scar. But uh, stunning views from here. Yeah. yeah, if I'd have been up yesterday and I needed that shelter, it was really uh, windy. 50, 60 mile an hour gusts upon the summits, but uh, just a gentle breeze today. A cracking little spot to pitch a tent as well, what a view. Yeah, it's a one to keep in the camp. Bank, here we go. I think this is the old Ale Fells down here. Got somebody on the other side. Yeah, and that's the one I've just come from. Oh, the, yeah, there's somebody else down there coming up this way. So we're up there. Third summit of the day, Great Scarfell, 651 meters. Not as impressive as uh, Little Scarfell. I think that's our next up onto that one, a bit higher. So yeah, I've just, just met a, another camper, wild camper. He didn't camp tonight, he's been stopping down below, but uh, had a bit crack with him. Decent bloke, all right, Tony. So now we'll push on further up. It is uh, there's a bit of mist. I think that's, is that high pike over there, possibly? 
No, that's Carrick Fell. High Pike is to my left. I think that's High Pike. I think that's Carrick there. But yeah, it's a perfect day. As they would say, perfect. A bit boggy under foot. But not surprising with the amount of rain it's put down in the last sort of couple of weeks. I think this has been the the wettest month so far for a long time. So I just have to watch my step here. Buggy, buggy. Yeah, so it's undulating. So now we're back, back up towards the knot. Oh, not, not the knot, just not. So we've got the summit of Knot, but, uh, just below it there's quite a few flat spots for pitching, ideal. Probably on the uh, northwest side of Knot. Glen Cattler over there, is it? Yeah, that's Skidder. Here's the summit of Knot. Another pile of stones, seven, ten meters. Uh, yeah, there's, you can just see a lingy hut. I think I'm going to go down that way and pick up the uh, Cumbria Way. But, uh, yeah, decent views across to Skidder. The sun's right in my face and camera and that is Skidder, uh, Blen Caffer, which I camped on in the summer. I think that's Bannerdale, is it? It will be. Whew. Yeah, that was Carrick and that's High Pike there. Oh, stunning views, stunning views. I just hope this camera is doing it justice, eh? Right, we've picked up the Cumbria Way path now. Slightly better. A bit wider. I don't know if this camera's picked it up, but you've got this Lingy Hut up there, the, the refuge. I'll have a look in if there's nobody about. Just a bit more bog trotting. I think this is, it seems to dry out now. This bit looks a little bit better. Nice view down the valley there. Whew. Little hut, lingy hut, Little refuge. Stop for five. I would say there's been a few, probably get, you get three, four possibly, if you keep on the floor as well. Doss down here, there's the book, yeah, graffiti, please don't do this. And the whole hut is color, covered in graffiti, it's a shame. Yeah. Keep the place tidy, so it should. Shovel, we know that's far, don't we? A couple of candles. And a stunning view down the valley. Had a bite to eat and a drink. Time to move on. Claggy cloud coming in on the tops. But we're heading this way. Yeah, you can see this whole area is sodden. I come down there and that was absolutely sodden. And that's the knot up there. Okay, onwards, onwards.
a yeah, nice bit of mist rolling in. Got a bit of cloud coming down now. Looks like it's heading towards me. I thought I was going to have wall to wall sunshine all day, but looks like I'm not. I'm just getting quite warm minding that sun, so <laughs> it's still pleasant. Pleasant morning. Yeah, I wouldn't like to do a night in Lingy Hut, it's a bit smelly. I'm not really a big boffy lover. I would rather pitch outside in a tent. But I suppose worst comes to the worst and the weather was really, really bad, then you know, you have no option. But to doss down in there, out of the elements. As we speak, the sun is coming back out. Shelter just below High Pike. There's a High Pike up there. And there's a shelter. So I have choices. There's one that way. Or there's one that way and then it splits. I think that's mine that splits down there. And you've got Carrick Fell in the gloom. So I think I will follow the left hand path down. I think I'm parked somewhere down that end. I went up, that's the one I went up before. Bray and then Scar and then up onto the knot and then back round. So yeah, we've, uh, I think we're on about six mile now, so it's not too bad. But uh, we'll slowly head off the hill. Yes, yeah, so you can see our path bending down and then to that one and I think it goes down that way and then I'll turn right back towards the car sunshine down the valley that's the village of Colbeck you can see over there somewhere this camera will not pick it out mine but then you've got uh, straight ahead you've got Criffle, that's across in Scotland, across the water. And you just see sort of the edge of the Pennines, and then you lead it towards Northumbria and then back towards Scotland again. But yeah, beautiful day. I'll be a little cloudy here. So yeah, that was the first hill we summited. Just done a big horseshoe. So probably just over six miles when we get back to the car, probably six and a half miles, so it's not too bad. We set off at eight and it's about half past 11, so the time we get back to the car will be about four hours. So it's not bad going. Yeah, so this area is quite a few of old abandoned mine shafts sealed up, of course, but they're still fenced off to keep the sheep out and whatever and people. You've got some this side and there's some further over there. We've got another one here, I don't know if this has been one, but there's definitely one here because it's fenced off. Sheep are all around about of it. We'll just have a quick gander, get back on the move. Mine workings, go back common. Yeah, it's just a big hole, <laughs> can't see anything. Have a look. Wow, what are you? 
Yeah, an old tyre. It's obviously been filled in. Lots of midges. What do you say, sheep? Right, let's get back on the path. All right, it's the crack. You want some? I've got nothing to eat. And the sun has made an appearance again. It's all downhill from now on. 